Hi guys. So I was tagged again by Derek and I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm doing the other this tag on the same day I did the other one so I'm not an outfit repeater. Well not this time. Anyways this is the uh, would you rather tag. Um, I know there's a makeup edition uh, of this, which this is not. This is ASMR related, kind of, but I'm not going to make it ASMR because some of the, um, from what I remember from his video that I watched, some of the, like, would you, like, the, the choices are not so relaxing. They kind of were like, what the hell? Like, this is my face. The entire time I was like, huh? It's like, hmm. Well, all right. I don't know how many questions. This is 25. So let's get started. Question one. Would you rather change sex every time you sneezed or not be able to tell the difference between a baby and a muffin? I don't want to be a cannibal. Babies are cute, but I don't want to eat a baby. So... We're gonna go with change sex every time because you know I kind of want to know what it is to be a guy like is that weird I, I just want to know how it is to be a guy because you know guys are are treated differently than girls so maybe interesting number two would you rather scream bloody murder every time you try to laugh or loudly um, Vocalize strange moans when you experience ASMR. <coughs> um. <laughs> Question three. Oh my god. Okay, scream bloody murder. I've been laughing? I'd be screaming bloody murder right now. <laughs> or moan. Boy, I'm watching ASMR videos. Well, I actually am pretty disturbed by any moaning noise. Like, well, you know how people, like, go, mm, mm, moan when they eat? Like, it's so good. That really, really freaks me out, but I guess I would say loudly vocalize moans when you experience ASMR because I don't, like, I, you know, I don't experience too much ASMR during my day, but, like, when I go to sleep, I do. And so I'm alone in my room and nobody can hear me, so I just, I'll go with that one. Four, would you rather be stuck in a movie theater where it smelled like cheese and onions by yourself or be stuck with babies crying, kids talking, and texting? Well, to be honest, I don't really like kids. I've had bad experiences babysitting my cousins, so I don't really like kids. My baby's crying. As soon as like I was holding, if I ever held a baby that cried, it's like, take back, take back, take back. No. So I'm just going to go with a theater smell like onions and cheese because I actually really like onions so it's smell doesn't really bother me too much and cheese what kind of cheese are you talking about are you talking about like stinky parmesan cheese are you talking about like Amer <laughs> American cheese that doesn't really have a smell but we'll go with the theater five would you rather urinate yourself or every time you heard a bell or faint every time a hot girl speaks to you well, to be honest, I'm straight, so I don't find girls attractive, so. Or urinate every time you hear a bell. I don't know. I mean, honestly, to be honest, I would choose faint every time I see a hot girl, because I don't, that's not what I perceive. But that's not fair, because it should just say somebody is attractive. Because, you yeah. know. I, I guess I go urinate because how much urinate like actually like just a little a little bit your your pants are like a lot I'll just wear I'll just I'll just wear a diaper and I'll just do that six would you rather the Philadelphia Eagles win the Super Bowl this upcoming season but then lose terribly but no, become and think become a terrible team for the net following thirty years, or you would you rather they be they were a top five team every year for the third next thirty years, 
that would never win this Super Bowl in that span. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite team. So they could lose and I wouldn't care. But yeah, since this is you have to choose, I would say, you know, I don't really have a team, so let's make up an ASMR football team. Let's just say they won a Super Bowl one year. I would love it if they just won a Super Bowl one year and then they didn't. They lost for the next three years because I feel like that would be... You, at least you had to have a... At least you won once. I mean, I'm not even, I don't even care about winning, but, you know. It's better than, you know, having... Um to be so close and then not winning anything at all. Like that's fucking frustrating. Oops. Sorry, the yeah, effort just kinda slipped out. Sorry. I hope there aren't any children watching this because I feel so bad. Because, well, this isn't really an ASMR video, so I don't know how, there might be two people watching. Two, because I can count. Okay, number seven. Would you rather be triggered only by someone slapping your butt cheek against a slice of ham, or be triggered only by the sound of an old lady giving old lady giving birth? Oh, that image just came to my head. Oh dear God. Well, seeing that most likely, that this is this is what I do when I see something like this, or somebody gives me a very 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 hypothetical situation I'm like that can't happen like for instance oh lady you really can't give birth most women hit menopause by 50 ish so she's probably not gonna be able to have birth, give birth. she probably won't be able to give birth but if that were true if she could give birth I much rather be slapped in the butt with a piece of ham I do love me some ham um, eight, would you rather have to run for the rest of your life or never walk again? I would say run. I'm actually not a very good runner right now. I kind of run like an idiot, so, you know, you can do so much. I mean, I guess I'm much rather, I don't want to be limited, I guess. And I, I kind of, I get kind of fidgety if I'm sitting too long. Like right now, I'm kind of getting a little fidgety. So, I would much rather run. At least I can go somewhere. And so they, you know, take my little weird wheelchair and just go, oh, I can't do much. Like, I'm not making fun of people who are in wheelchairs, but if I have the choice, I would definitely choose running. I just put on about that. Nine, would you rather be forced to watch every single book you've ever owned burned before your eyes or every single video game you've ever owned before your eyes? Um... I'll stay. Video games, for sure. I don't even know why I think about that. Because, let's see. You know how many video games I own? I used to own, when I was little, Barbie. Barbie, Barbie, Barbie. Barbie or Disney. Burn those. Oh, and that Spanish game I used to love. It's a computer game. I love that thing. It had the little rabbit. And I didn't even take a Spanish in high school. So, like, learning Spanish at, like, six was a waste. But... I don't know. Like I have, like right now I have Mario Party, Super Mario Galaxy, Mario, um, play, um, that we play and that we sports and all that kind of stuff. So if that burned, that's okay. As long as I get to keep my Wii to watch my Netflix and Hulu. Um, 10. Would you rather fart green paint or throw up squids every time you yawned? Seeing that yawning is contagious, I would just <sighs> talking about it. I don't know, that's a weird phenomenon, but yeah, since I'm going to be urinating every time I hear a bell, I'll already be wearing a diaper, so I'll just fire some green paint and just change my diaper later. Number 11, would you rather be friends with Amanda Bynes or Miley Cyrus? See, if you had asked me this a year ago, I would have totally said Amanda Bynes. She was like my thought. Oh, she, I, I loved her when I was little. I watched the Amanda show, all of that. Was she on all that? I don't know. 
whatever. I'm losing my mind. But since she's kind of uh, in the cuckoo house right now and she's not very stable, I think the rumor has it she might have schizophrenia. Don't know for sure, but that's what my sister said. So we're going to go with Miley Cyrus. <sighs> Just because... I don't know. I really, really want to say Amanda Bynes, but then I know what she's like right now. And like, I'm just thinking of the Amanda Bynes, like 2000, early 2000s, 90s. So, I'm just gonna have to go with Miley Cyrus because of Amanda, Amanda Bynes' state right now. You know, as much as I hate Miley Cyrus. I hate her. That's rude. I shouldn't say I hate her. I dislike her. I dislike her. She can't really sing. I don't know. I mean, personal dizzies forced to sing anyways. Um, Tal, would you rather give up being gays forever to be with your true love? Excuse me, let me start this over. Would you rather give up video games forever to be with your true love or be forever alone but get to live and act as the main character or the character of your choosing instead of every video game you play and you may follow the love story in the game but once the game is over, the relationship is over. Since I absolutely do not play video games, I actually don't, I think they're kind of a waste of time. And, well, for me, they're a waste of time because I I would be the one to throw my Wii remote and break a TV. But, yeah, I'm going to just, you know, I'm going to give up those Barbie games and I'm just going to go for my true love of Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, 13. <sighs> Sorry. I don't know. That yummy question throwing me off. 13. Would you rather live in the anime world but be the only real live person or live in the real world and be the only anime person? Actually, I've never, I was never really into anime. Like, don't, don't hurt me. But I never, I never liked Pokemon. My brother played Pokemon, I think. I think he did. And you know, I kind of knew a little bit about it, but I, I was such a girly girl. And so I just, yeah, I play with my Barbies, my Bratz dolls, my Polly Pockets, that kind of stuff, so. Um, I guess I would, since I know nothing about anime, I'd just be like me in the anime world, because I just, I don't know what goes on in there, so. It'd be interesting. Fourteen, would you rather be an ice cream truck driver in a, with a country with shit weather like Belgium, or serve as the president of a prestigious university. Why would you, what kind of question? What? That's weird. Because I I would think it like honestly, I think it'd be awesome to be the president of a university. Like, watch out Harvard, here I come. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I would actually honestly, I would really enjoy it. So Maybe that's something I should do when I'm older. I don't know. Uh, 15. Would you rather stop feeling any negative feelings like envy, jealous, etc. Or be able to truly communicate with to people how much you love and appreciate them beyond your, your words. Some kind of like telepathy. <sighs> that's up to you. Well, to be honest, I'm not really jealous. I'm not a jealous person. Um, I don't know, I'm really just, I don't know, I'm not that kind of person, I don't get, like, like, I know there are people who've been on YouTube less than I have, and I only have, I mean, like, been on here a month and have already had a thousand subscribers, I'm not jealous, I don't care, you know, when my boyfriend, if he, like, gets hit on at work, because he does work in a retail clothing store, I don't get bad. I don't get jealous. I know it boosts his self-esteem, and I don't get jealous. I'm I'm just not a jealous person. But then, you know, I f I think I'm gonna go with the truly communicate with people because I have a hard time, like truly getting my feelings out, and you know. Like, getting rid of, rid of negativity would be awesome, but I'm just, I don't know, I have a hard time communicating my feelings with people, so 
I'm just gonna go with that one because, like I said, I'm not a jealous person. I try not to be too negative. So, we'll just go with that one. Number 16. Would you rather skydive from 20,000 feet directly into a erupting lava or spend an entire night sleeping in a bed of poison ivy in mosquito infested woods wearing nothing but your birthday suit? Well, seeing that most likely, well, you're going to die if you're going into a volcano. Definitely, you're going to burn up to the flat. You're just going to be ashes. So, no. I'd much rather just be naked, middle of the woods, being eaten up, and getting itchy because, you know, I live in a very humid, humid climate, and I'm used to kind of mosquitoes. And so, I've never been in contact with poison ivy, so I don't know how to react to that, but I'd much rather have one night of suffering than be dead. I don't want to be dead. No way. Okay. Number 17, would you rather be eaten by a zombie or have to eat human brains for the rest of your life as a human? What the hell? Uh, seeing that I don't believe in zombies. God, here, me, here I go with being realistic and sucking the fun out of everything. Okay, let's just pretend that zombies exist. No, I would not, I might rather just eat human brains. Ugh. Thought, thought that just grossed me out. <sighs> would you rather live in the Pokemon world or the Digimon world? Oh, sorry, this is number 18. Seeing that I know nothing about either one of them, I can't really choose. I'll go, okay, let's go eeny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mama told me to pick the very best one, and you are not it. Okay, it's gonna be Digimon. That was really lame how to choose that, but I don't know, I, I don't know anything about those two, so. Alright. We should do like an outtake of how many times they yawn. Okay. Number 19, would you rather spend a day with Taylor Swift only to have her turn around and write a song about how awful you are or become a one hit wonder in the genre of music you dislike most? So, okay, I can either have Taylor Swift write a song about how, how, you know, how sarcastic I am and how, you know, how much of a ginger with no soul I have, have no soul, or I could, you know, be a rapper slash country singer with a hit wonder. I'm gonna go with Taylor Swift because, you know, I could totally brag and say, hey, that song is about me. So, what, why would you write a song about me? I'm just, just gonna go with Taylor Swift. I don't really like Taylor, Taylor Swift anyways. 20. Would you rather have to sleep your life away without waking up until your 99th birthday and or have your parents following you around 24-7, like, everywhere, 10 centimeters away from you until you die? I'm trying to think of how much, I'm trying to convert edges to centimeters. Well, I don't know. I love to sleep, but then I get kind of claustrophobic with people, but then you know, my parents would drive me nuts. They're all, they're always up in my business. <laughs> I think all parents are like that. They're always in your business, but... Um... I think I would just have my parents follow me around. Whatever. You know? Uh, you know, I could accidentally walk them off the cliff. I shouldn't have said that. That was me. <laughs> that was so stupid. Um... Yeah, I'm just going to choose my parents because I'd much rather be alive and living than, you know, be asleep. Even though much I love sleep, man. I'm not going to sleep my... I'm not going to sleep that much of my life away. I might sleep, like, half my life away, but not all of it. <laughs> um, 21, would you rather be forced to live your life as the main character of your least favorite video game without any injury or feel live in your 
favorite video games but feel and suffer all the injuries of your main character. Let's recap. Don't play video games, don't care. So I much rather be like your favorite video game. Okay, let's just say I hate Mark Super Mario Galaxy, which I kinda do, but Okay, so I could be I'll just be Mario and you know, whatever. I'll be Mario. And suffer no pain. Twenty one. Would you rather live a very peaceful life to a hundred or a very passionate life for and die in five years? No, five years from now. So I'll be twenty four if I died. I don't know. It's a hard question because I I think I mentioned this in like one of my one of my videos that I'm actually really really afraid of um, death situations. It kind of really freaks me out to think about that kind of stuff and so um as much I mean you should live your life to the fullest and uh, I don't know I'm a pretty peaceful person I'm not I don't want to die I don't want to die when I'm 24 that's a hard question um for me it is yeah I don't know which one I'm gonna choose because, I mean, living a peaceful life to your 100, man, that sounds awesome, but you should live your life to the fullest. I'm just gonna go with the 100 years, just because, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't really, I really honestly don't want to think about dying when I'm 24, so, I don't know how honest of an answer that is, but, I'm kind of, yeah, this is another kind of question I should be answering, so. At 23, would you rather have ASMR fans find your real Facebook page or your real friends find your ASMR page? Well, um, as much as I love you guys, I really don't want you on my personal Facebook page because um, I don't get it on too much anymore. But you know how it's all my personal information, like, you know, where I live, my last name, my parents are on my Facebook. So... Even, this is really sad, I, I kind of blocked a few of people from finding me on my ASMR page just, just because there are more people I don't like. Okay, personal people that I don't like, and my hair is falling down, that I knew who would, if they found out, they would blackmail me. So those are pe those people are blocked. So I'd much rather have somebody, you know, find my, my ASMR page. Um, would you rather play, oh, 24, would you rather play soccer in a video game or real life? Seeing as, I much rather play it in real life because I'm not, my, my, doing this little thing with my fingers, I just can't do it. Even though I'm probably, I would probably be really bad, I'm not, I'm not really bad at soccer. I'm not really good with contact sports. I, I don't mind doing, like individual competitive sports like swimming or gymnastics. I can't do gymnastics but I'm just saying. But okay, last question. Twenty five. Would you rather be a Pegasus or a Phoenix? Is Pegasus a horse? Is this pathetic? I'm gonna have to look this up. Alright. Google. I can't remember. I haven't taken any mythology class. I I think those are mytholo mythological creatures, are they? I know Phoenix is the capital of Arizona. So. Okay, it's a Greek, it's from Greek mythology. Sorry. Looking up a picture. Okay. It's a bird. was adopted as a symbol in early Christianity, blah blah blah. So is you, your bird? Is that what's going on? Oh, regenerated or reborn. Associated with the sun. Okay, so that sounds kind of appealing. Let's go with a pegasus. Alright. Oh, a pegasus.
face is the horse. I'm sorry, I really don't know these. Um, it's the best known winged. Wisdom, something like that. I don't know. I don't really like horses, but I don't like birds, so I'm gonna call it horse because it looks pretty. <laughs> Such a stupid answer, no. Actually, I don't know. I'm looking up stuff right now. Old war what the what? Ah, okay. During World War II, the silhouette image of um, Bellatron, the warrior, mounted on the winged of Pisces, was adapted by the UK uh, newly raised parachute troops in 1941 as their upper sleeve. In what is that word? I can't read. Sometimes I don't. I think I'm illiterate because I can't read anything. So basically, World War II, they had a symbol of a Pegasus on their sleeve. And it was black, no, it was blue on maroon background. I'm just gonna go with Pegasus, cause that sounds kinda cool. I like world, I like learning about World War II. So, okay, that was the long, so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video and I'm sorry if I'm seeing out of it I'm starting to get a little tired because I already filmed another video and I'm just kind of like shocked so yeah I will see you in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed and there's a smudge on my lens hopefully you didn't see that all right I'm gonna go to Unless you just woke up then.